Well, my fellow people, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're doing well. Stick around. I got uh, I got some of this going on. Hello and welcome to the Wood Factory. I'm Paul Winters and it is time for another... I'm turning around. Templar Pops Mystery Boxes, the Reboot, Grail or Fail. Uh, the big hit is the the Captain Rex. Um, Captain Rex Pop worth $320. When I, when I looked it up, at one point it looked like $410, so it went down quite a bit. I've got it already. It's right here. So, obviously I'm not... I didn't get this to get that. Well... If I resell it, make a bunch of money, that would be cool. But, uh, okay, so the, the total is uh, 60 boxes, uh, $25 for a single box or 90 for a four pack, and I got four of them. Uh, $10 guaranteed value, so this one's quite a risk. A big gain if you win. One fifth of these boxes will be full value or better. Batter? I misspelled. So, one-fifth, I got four boxes. I could get one, who knows. Uh, one pop per box, uh, top hit, Captain Rex. He didn't put any other pops. He usually puts a list of other pops that could be in it. So I didn't uh, didn't have that to go on. I, I really only bought this just to have something to do. Cause <laughs> that's, that's really it. Because if there's something to shoot for, then that would be different. But I... There wasn't because I, there wasn't anything to do. It didn't show anything, so that's kind of a drag. But if I get the big one, then that would be cool. Uh, but first, I've got a pop by that I got from uh, where did I get this? But books a million, bam! And it is the uh, unmasked Mandalorian with Grogu, and they actually put Grogu on there now instead of Baby Yoda. So let me, let me get this out of here. This is this is what it looks like. So, uh, there's a Grogu in there. Very cool. Third season. There is a third season coming up, so I'm uh, looking forward to that. Well, not that, but that. <laughs> I'm not here. Don't even... Uh, uh, let's put that over there. All right, so here we go. That was the only one I got. I got two more on the way uh, from Books A Million. They're back order, pre-ordered. Do people use the word back order anymore? I think it's all pre-orders. But whatever. All right, so I got uh, I got uh, four a four pack, the uh, one pop per box, and uh, one in five will be full value or better. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the the lightest one first, and uh, this one's 11 ounces. Let's see what I got. I can get the plate going there, that'll be good. Alright, it's all wrapped up. Let's see if I can get it out without peeking. Good, no tape. No tape on it. Alright, so give me the front of it. Oh, it's in a pop protector, isn't it? Yeah. If I can figure out where the front or back is, it's right to here. Okay, Edward Scissorhands. Uh, in face mask, it, they were doing uh, uh, beauty. T he he was cutting the ladies' hairs, the well, ladies ladies of the neighborhood's head that were cutting her hair, and they did a little beauty mask on their Bam exclusive. And I I just opened a Bam uh, books a million box. So there you go. This one's up for sale. I've already got an Edward scissor hands, so uh, I'm good with that. All right. Let me set that right there. That over there. Okay, next heaviest is a. Uh, well, there's two that uh, weigh 12 ounces. Not that that really matters. You can get a real crappy one that's heavy. There's one heavy one I got uh, Earthshaker from uh, Dota 2, I believe. And it is. Wow. 
I don't know if it's just called a brick, but it's just because it's heavy. <laughs> or uh, if there's other, some other criteria for that, I do not know. Right. So let me get this one out of here. Okay. Top. I think this way. Well, Dumb and Dumber. So I've seen this. Oh, this is the Chase. Harry Dunn and Tux. Chase, very nice. Could be worth something. I don't know. I'm not collecting uh, Dumb and Dumber. I like the movie, but uh, not collecting the pops. So uh, that one going for sale. Oh, uh, link down below to my eBay page. Support the channel. Buy stuff. All right, there you go. Uh, another one weighing in at 12 ounces. Not sure. Like I said, not sure why I'm saying that because it does not seem to matter. Oh, I got little stickers. Ninja Turtle stickers. At least I think that's what they are. They look like stickers. And I'm not sure who that is. I do not know. It could be from a bug's life, but I seriously doubt it. Just the, 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 the facial expression isn't quite right. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to put this one on the table. I'm not sure why I got that. Could mean I got a big, uh, a big hit. That would be nice. Ah, come out of here, you. I've been throwing boxes on my chair, waiting for them to tumble onto the ground. And it's just, the boxes are situated in just such a way, the next one will probably roll right off there. So. Not that that matters, whatever. I'll pick it up. Okay, so I, I just barely saw it out of the corner of my eye, and this is the front. That would be the top. Ooh, Diamond Collection, Sophia. Right? Yeah, Sophia from the Golden Girls. You got the... Glitter hair, good glitter glasses, and glitter uh, outfit, right? Yeah. FYE exclusive diamond collection. So, very nice. Oh, here, let me. Well, not, uh, not collecting Golden Girls, so that one's going up for sale. I'm going to put the sticker on top of that to mark that that's the one that, that came in. Okay. I don't think that, well, that was just the one. Well, I'm just wondering if there are stickers in other boxes. I don't believe so. Oh, well. Could mean something. Could be a random thing. Who knows? I'm going to ask Jeremy about that. So, <laughs> but I'll oh, link down below to his, uh, to his uh, website. Check out all the good stuff he's got. Uh, the last one, the, the newest one that came out, I'm not sure if it's not up yet or if it's sold out. I think it, it's supposed to uh, come out today. Well, you're not going to see it because I'm, I'm not posting this right away. I'm going to post this next, next Friday. Um, okay. Oh, SpongeBob. I did that wrong, didn't I? SpongeBob Hop Topic Exclusive, SpongeBob Weightlifter. Okay, right, he's got a little teddy bear barbells. So, <laughs> or I don't know if it's teddy bears or it looks like it. But uh, not a SpongeBob fan. People go nuts over that, but never got into it. And I'm gonna ask Jerry, Jeremy about those stickers. I don't know if he threw them in a random. I wonder if it actually means something. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go uh, check values and uh, just see if I uh, did any good. All right, be right back. Uh, well, I didn't do so well. I kind of expected, but uh, I took a shot. What can you do? All right, so the, the least valuable one was the Edward Scissorhands, uh, BAM exclusive, worth $13. Now, the thing is, it shows uh, uh, listings. Just it says for sale, uh, starting at thirty four thirty four ninety nine. So could be a good thing, but it says it's valued at thirteen. So who knows? All right. So the next one is SpongeBob, worth uh, sixteen. 
the Hot Topic exclusive. Oh, and I didn't notice he has uh, two different uh, little stuffed bear on one side and a little stuffed rabbit on the other, which is, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cute. All right, so the next one is Sophia. Where's Sophia? There she is. And the FYE exclusive, the Diamond Collection is worth $20. And the last one, Harry Dunn, is worth $23. There's a, the regular version is him in a top hat. And then this is, he's got two wine glasses. Well, that's the Chase version. So that one's worth 23 So I did not get, okay, one in five boxes would be full of value or better. I did not get any of those. Because, let's see. Or did I? Okay, and I need to figure this out. Okay, it's 25 per box or $90 if you get a four pack. And I got the four pack. So what's 90 divided by 40, 45? 22 and a half. One was uh, value or better. So <laughs> the $23 one is, uh, was, was a little over what I paid for it. So, so all together $90 I, it, uh, and I got $72 in value. So not a win, but that's a gamble. It's a, it's a mystery box. So there you go. And the stickers, I just realized that it's a four pack and he probably just slipped them in through the, the flaps on one of the boxes. So I don't I doubt it means anything. I'm going to ask him anyway, just for giggles. I don't know. All right, so that is uh, that is everything. Let's take a little spin and uh, unbox the uh, the Mandalorian pop and uh, check the parade. All right. All right, so there you go. That's it for uh, Templar Pops uh, reboot, grail or fail. Um, I, don't, I don't. I can't. Well, I, yeah, I lost. That's that's it. Like I say, it's a gamble. What can you do? All right. So uh, there you go. That's it. Uh, I'm Paul Wooders. This is Wood Factor. We'll see you next time.